Hey, star people. Right now we're going to talk about um, something that used to confuse me in one of the religions that I was a part of. So if you've been following my channel or if you know me, you know that my background is full of different religions. Um, and the one I stuck to hard, and I would say uh, practice and would say it was claiming as my religion, is Islam. That was my religion. And I'm saying that because even as an adult, I found it to be of some value, more so than other ones that I had practiced before. Uh, so right now, I, you know, I'm spiritual, which I find is really different from religious. And I, I like it better, but it's not about what I like. Anyway, one of the things about the Islamic religion was when I was a Muslim, there's the whole um, women wear hijab, that whole ordeal that happens in that religion. And that was something that I liked hijab. I just, I felt like they were stylish for one. And then two, I just liked them. There was something about it that just resonated with me. And um, looking at it though, I, I didn't just look at things that what resonated with me. I wanted an explanation. I wanted to know why this was that women had to wear hijabs, but men didn't have to. Um, people would throw up the fact that, well, you know, the men do have the head coverings too, but they don't have to wear it, you know, every day or feel shamed by other people of the religion if they don't wear it every day. So it never really answered my question why women were held to a certain standard where they needed to cover their, their head. And, you know, the, so the hijab, it doesn't just cover the top part of the head. Like they were trying to tell me, the, well, the guys have one that covers their head too. It was different. It didn't just cover the top part of their head. It covered all that. Okay. And even slowed down to here, right? So all that's covered. And sometimes the burkers are there and like everything just about is covered. Or sometimes it's a complete shield. So basically head to like mid chest are covered up on top of what, um, some of them wear the full garment, but even if you don't, they're covered up that much. And so I wanted to know why. Never got my answers, okay? It was basically you, um, it was a modest thing to do. It, it showed modesty and obedience. Um, they said the Quran never even really says a woman has to wear it. Uh, there's a lot of argument about that. But it was something that everybody kind of followed and followed with pride. Followed with, oh, oh, you're a Muslim? Well, where's your hijab? Oh, I didn't, I don't wear it, you know? And they all don't wear it either or wear it all the time. So to ask that question and identify with religion and make it seem as so, if you're religious enough, Islamic enough, Muslim enough, you would wear the hijab, no questions asked. All right, so what I've come to realize, because like I said, I had to leave religion alone because I had a lot of unanswered questions that nobody wanted to give to me. And they were baffled that I was questioning things and didn't want to be bothered by my questions. And I feel like it raised something within them too. And they just, that's just how they handle it. And um, so I feel like it's my responsibility to put this out there. I'm not sure if it's out there or not, but it's my responsibility because I was looking and I was confused. I mean, for real confused. Not, oh, I don't know if I want to, if I believe in something higher than me. No. Or if it's Allah versus God or Jesus. No, none of that stuff. It was simply, I'm trying to seek the truth to something higher and greater, period. So anyway, so it came to me that from all the things that I've been learning spiritually, in my own individual quest of what it is to be my higher version of myself, it's come to me that the reasons why um, certain religions, Islam being one, want women to wear hijabs because it protects their crown chakra. And yes, everyone has it, male or female. However, the energy that the woman brings um, is very powerful. Uh, same with the men too, but very powerful with women. And men know that. Um, these are just facts. Don't look them up. No, <laughs> okay. But uh, so it's that powerful where 
it makes no sense. And it'll be a, a, a move that's not smart for a woman to go out and have her most dominant chakra vulnerable and easily accessible to anyone who she's around. So in my home, in your home, you're allowed to take your hijab off because your, your, your family, who's ever in your home, should be able to be around you, your being, and, and be trusted. Um, be around your being, and you're able to, to, to be you, have your energy, share your energy, have energies cross paths, all that should be harmonious, okay? But when you leave the house, for whatever reason, whether you step outside to get the mail, go to a grocery store, go to a restaurant, what, go to school, <laughs> whatever you leave, go to work, whenever you leave, your crown chakra, which connects to your divinity, is exposed to other people. Some people know about this, where they can actually manipulate you if they want to. Some people have no clue, like the most of us didn't, you know, I know I didn't at, at one point, um, about this. But seeing how powerful it is to connect with a chakra, especially someone else's chakra too, and knowing the power you have over it, it will be foolish for a woman to, of such high energy and such dynamic energy, to walk around and expose basically something that, that is that powerful to someone else. Because if someone can connect to you in your, through your chakra, through your senses, whatever, if someone can connect through to you, then they can control certain aspects of you, whether you're understanding them as doing so or not. So the reason why certain religions have people or women wear things that cover their heads, or even some of them have their men cover their heads, or at least their crown chakra, is for that reason. If your, your chakras, they start lower at the root chakra and they work their way up to the crown chakra. So everything that's covered by the hijab is from your heart to your throat, to your third eye, to your crown. So all the top higher chakras are completely protected. Um, and by that, I mean not directly exposed to others. All right. So here's why I find religion to be a problem. Okay, because I'm speaking with the utmost respect for anyone of any religion. I'm not, I see religion's purpose. I see it, it can be pur purposeful, but I also see the manipulation that can be done through, through religion and that a lot of people are doing through religion. And that is this, for the Islamic religion to teach their followers, their believers, that the reason why women wear hijab is because they're more, more they show that they're modest and obedient um, is, is mind control. That is making women believe, of, women of that religion believe that to be modest is to be dressed like this. To be obedient is to be dressed like this. And anyone who's not is, is, is opposite. And so if there's a Muslim woman in this country and they see the way Americans dress, American women, American men, doesn't matter how Americans dress, especially the women, we are exposed. The women are exposed from their heads, their hair, and I mean beautiful hair and all that, you know, different hairstyles, um, but from their head to their toes sometimes, you know, open toe shoes, whatever. From their head to their toes, we are exposed. Women like to show their cleavage, so then their heart chakra is revealed. We like to, you know, wear our necklaces and everything, but our, our, our shoulders are out or our, our back is out. Um, we barely cover our head. Sometimes back in the day, you know, people used to wear hats. Hats were the thing, which they covered their crown chakra too. But uh, now it's like we're so exposed. And so that's where the manipulation of religion comes in because you, people of that religion feel like if there is even another Muslim who follows these, you know, who follows other guidelines of the religion, if they are not following this guideline, that's not even really something that 
is being uh, enforced through through code, through writing, um, that they are not true to their religion. They are not religious enough, and that they are somehow less valuable as a as a female, and that's not true. What it is is that American women, uh, no matter what the religion, unless they're spiritual, they're not really in tune with the fact that we have chakras, what they are, the power of them, and that it's not a bunch of hoopla. It's, it's real. It's real stuff because we're not taught that. So when we're not taught that, we don't value that. And we make it a thing, we enforce it through our society to walk around um, with little to no clothes on. What other people of maybe the, you know, other religions, other cultures look at us as, uh, some of them as slutty, some of them, some of them not as that. And just look at, look at them as, let's say, um, uh, somebody is having a case where, I don't know, they are raped or somebody forced himself on them. And it's always that, that debate of, a woman should be able to wear what she wants. And then some other ones, like she can, but then she's asking for it. She's asking for the unwanted attention. So the, the, that's always a debate. Debatable is no right or wrong because it's always the underlying fact that you are completely exposed. We expose your chakras like that. You expose your power for anyone who wants to come manipulate on it, anyone who wants to come um, attach themselves to you, they can. And it's completely exposed. So for some reason, like I said, when I, was, when I was really religious and I was following Islam, it resonated with me that to wear hijab was something that would benefit me, something that I should probably do. But I didn't do it on a regular at all. I didn't do it to make an identify what, I, what it felt to me to be a Muslim. Um, I didn't do it because no one can make any sense of it to me as to why it was important for the female only and not the male. But understand that it's not, it's not one or the other. Everyone should be covered, but I understand the energy of a female now and how powerful it is. And so it was their way of protecting the female from others being able to manipulate that energy because if it's coming from the top, that's the, oh, that's, the one you really want to protect. That's why people have crowns. It signifies a lot more. It signifies a lot more. But that's what you really want to protect. You want to protect all of yourself, your chakras, because your chakras power your senses and you're controlled and, and perceive everything in this world through your senses. So your chakras are very important and something very important to protect. And so even with, um, uh, even with us wearing like different weaves and things like that. Like I'm wearing mine through the winter <laughs> because I don't feel as cold, but also it is kind of covering up the way I'm wearing it. It is covering up my crown chakra, but still not so much where I don't need a hijab or something like that. So it's not that you need one, but it is an extra veal. That's what it, a hijab is, it's a veal, a shield. So that's what it is, protecting you, shielding you, um, protecting your chakras. And look it up. And I say this because I, like I said, I come to you with this video with the utmost respect for anyone of any religion. So this is something you can look up. And maybe that's what's something that's wrong with you <laughs> while you're, uh, maybe you're in that religion. The question you've always had and just stop asking because you didn't have answers. But uh, that's not the route I took. But anyway, so that's the answer for you. But just look it up. Look up the information and and see how it resonates with you. You might uh, feel like, no, you know, it is modesty because it's, you know, that's what you, you believe now. It does show obedience because that's what you believe now. But there's an actual real answer as to why women who are Muslim wear hijab. And even women of other religions um, or societies that have different headdresses that they wear or different coverings or shields they wear to protect uh, their chocolate. So that's an explanation for you to hopefully relieve some confusion of any confused people out there, any of the star people who are confused um, on some aspect of religion and that being one. And even if you're not uh, Muslim, 
you don't follow Islam as, at all, um, that's a better understanding as to why uh, Muslim women wear hijab. Okay, it's not because, and, and, and now it's being, it's being, uh, it's being seen by everybody as uh, symbolizing terrorism and things like that. It's not. So educate yourself and have a good evening, sir people.